Evening Teach Me Dorset, my name is Mark Anderson, you can find me on Twitter as at ICT Evangelist or you can find out more by looking at my blog uh, ictevangelist.com I wanted to talk with you a bit tonight about transforming learning using technology. You know, if we do things the way that we've always done them, then we're going to get the same sort of responses and, and, and returns from students in terms of learning that we've always had. So if we're taking some writing as an example, um, if we're writing in class, we take the students down to the ICT suite and get them to type that sort of work up. Well, that's not really extending the learning. You're just substituting one activity for another. It's not really helping students to actually develop any extra skills. It's not asking them to collaborate or get review from others very easily. Um, and it's certainly not opening up a big, wide audience. And in fact, it's pretty boring. So what's the point of working like that? Why would you want to do that? You know, I, I really feel quite strongly uh, about how... If we're going to use technology, then that use has to be purposeful. So, with that in mind, there's a framework um, developed by uh, a gentleman called Dr. Ruben Puentejura. Uh, it's called the SAMA framework. And it's a framework which is broken down into four different sections. Uh, the S, the A, the M, the R. And with SAMA, what it does is takes you from the introductory level of substitution right through to redefinition. So, when we're looking at that, the... Substitution level, we sort of talked about already, is, is substituting one activity for another. Then we have augmentation, modification, and then redefinition. So, we talked about substitution, taking it from one example to the other. Then we have augmentation. This is enhancing learning a little bit. Uh, so it might be, uh, in this example here, highlighting keywords in a different colour. Now, you know, it's not really enhancing the learning, though, and certainly it's not much more than substitution, because we could do that with a different coloured pen. But if we start thinking about the activities in a bit more detail, then we could actually, you know, um, get this work up on the screen using something like VoiceThread uh, and getting students to actually feed back live on the screen or annotate it around the outside and uh, giving feedback that way. Taking things to another level and redefining, you know, we could take the example we've got there and get students to take part in online debate related to the topic. They could blog about it where they've got a worldwide audience where they can get global critique and feedback. They could Skype or FaceTime with actors. That that um, bit of text you saw was, um, was from King Lear, Shakespeare's play King Lear. And so they could actually Skype with students or actors you know, who are taking part in that and learn from that as well. They could create a Powtoon, an animated presentation online and get feedback on that. Or they could you know, create a podcast. So these are different ways in which you can help redefine the learning that's going on. So I would just urge you, before you start taking students into um, your ICT suites or using tablets or whatever, you know, really think carefully, if you could, uh, about how you're going to engage with that technology and try not to substitute one type of activity for another because technology can really help redefine how we learn in our classrooms and how students can learn even more. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for listening. I hopefully catch you soon. Thank you.